Hi guys, this is uh, Dan from JP Coins and Collectibles, and uh, EB eBay our user ID is JP Coin. Um, I wanted to take a video because 12 pictures doesn't really give you a good idea of what we're looking at with this amazing collection from uh, HW Fay um, with uh, Vachel Lindsay and several other early American poets. Um, we're going to do a quick cover. Um, I mentioned the bindings and stuff are completely messed up, so it's pretty much just a stack of loose papers at this point, but they're very important historical papers. So let's take a look. We'll try to get through this as quick as possible and not reach the YouTube limit. Um, Noyes is the guy that came. There's In here there's a register to uh, Abraham Lincoln's grave, and H.W. Uh, Fay, these were his two binders. He was... A journalist um, and he was also the curator of Lincoln's tomb in Springfield and he was good friends with Vachel Lindsay and several other poets and so he put together these scrapbooks um, and Vachel Lindsay taught and lived in Sycamore as well as Springfield so our shop is in Sycamore Illinois and somehow this made it into our shop which is amazing um, it deserves to be in a museum, but there is some boring stuff, and there's a lot of acid from the papers and stuff, so we'll just go through the boring stuff, and yeah. This is, uh, Sarah Teasdale. Um, it's in a frame from Springfield, Illinois, but I don't think this one is actually a real picture. Uh, I apologize, I'm in a bed right now, because I've... I'm bedridden at the moment. I have MS, so we're going to get through this as best we can. Uh, he had a lot of interest in uh, Sarah Teasdale, the little girl who never grew up. And so he had some scrap clippings of her, her autopsy, um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So here's where it gets important. Um, this is Lewis... Undermeyer. He was a poet. Um, 1933. He sent this signed picture um, from Herbert George Studio in Springfield, Illinois. And he kept the envelope that he sent it in. So, H.W. Fay, Esquire, Custodian Lincoln's Tomb, Springfield, Illinois. And it's from Lewis Untermeyer. And he even put a little picture of himself in the front of it. But this is a real authentic picture, and it is hand-signed by Lewis Untermeyer. So that's in there. Um, some more of the boring stuff is just clippings of newspapers. Uh, we'll get to the exciting stuff here soon. Um, this is the graduating class that Batchel Lindsay was in. And this is a note um, of where he's sitting. He's number 43. Uh, not really that interesting. That's something you can just get from the records. Alfred Noyes is, I think, who visited from the uh, Britain um, and saw Lincoln's tomb and signed the register for H.W. Uh, Fay so that he could have a signature. Um, sometimes famous people would sign just pieces of paper in case they died and someone needed money or something like that. So there are a couple of those in here that are kind of weird as well. Here's some more of the unexciting stuff you can just print out from... This is John Drinkwater. He's in another picture. Oh, here we go. This is a beautiful picture of Vachel Lindsay and his mother standing in front of their house in Sycamore, I believe. And... It's just a great candid shot. It is a real picture. Um, he put a lot of his pictures in here. Uh, this is to my dear friend H.W. Fay from George L. Herrott. Herrott, I think it was. Um, I looked it up. He was an early American poet as well, and he had some sort of correspondence with H.W. Fay. And he sent him this uh, picture. 
of himself that he had signed the border of. Um, so that's another American poet with a signature. This is some more boring stuff. Um, this is Lincoln's tomb register. Uh, Alfred Noyes um, from England visited in 1942, December 15th. Um, he's the only person that signed on this. There was some sort of paper that Acid did the back of it. Um, but he was a poet as well. I looked him up. Um, but he was an English poet. But he had correspondence apparently with them and was a fan of Lincoln. Uh, let's see here. This is Batchel Lindsay's famous poem, Abraham Lincoln Walks at Midnight. Um, I think it's, I think it's a photocopy of his signature on this one. It says, good, with good wishes to Gilman Gullickson from Vecha Lindsay. Um, this is Gullickson himself, who this was sent to. So he included a picture of himself, um, made seven sittings of Lincoln. Oh, he was the photographer in Springfield. I'm sorry. He was the guy that took the pictures in Springfield, and then there was a uh, sycamore photographer as well. Um, let's see what we can find here. Um, there's also, Vetchel Lindsay made a couple of presses um, for some special events. These were for the Village Improvement Parade, Section 6. Vetcha Lindsay, 1910? Might be 18, I'm not sure. Um, if you look up the parade, he did one sheet of paper, he did two pressings. Um, yeah, the Village Improvement Parade. Um, so these are, are pretty cool. They're, they're fairly rare, uh, several hundred dollars a piece minimum i would imagine uh, let's get into the second book here before we run out of time uh, there's a lot of pictures of vachel Lindsay. he was a big fan um, and you'll see that a lot of these are actual photo paper that was exposed and they're they're actual photos that have survived of vachel Lindsay. um yeah, this one, I mean, he was a very stern, upset-looking man a lot of times. Uh, there's several notes of the books being loaned out to family members and such. Um, they're kind of wonky and just slipped in everywhere. Uh, but that's just more provenance if you wanted it. Uh, this is the newspaper article that Vachel Lindsay and family in 1950, H.W. Hayes, put in the newspaper. This is the actual photo he pulled that from. So this was by Herbert George in Springfield, Illinois. A wonderful photo of his children and his wife and him just being happy people for what I can only imagine is one of the few times in his life it seems like from the rest of the pictures and his poetry, but uh, beautiful picture of his family. And then it's neat that he took the newspaper article that he used it in as well. Um, here's another shot of him and his mother. Uh, very stern woman. Here's another shot of him on his own. I mean, there's just so much here that needs to be re-preserved and Put in a museum. He's looking a little smiley or coy. Uh, here we go. This is a neat one. I like these photos. Um, take a look at that. How cool is that? That's DeKalb, Illinois. It was taken by Gullickson Studios um, or Victor George Studio, and it's in a Gullickson frame. Um, but look how cool that is. They did like a removal of him and put him on just a background. 
really makes them pop out of the background. This, um, Victor George, 1922, he took this photo. This is very fancy photo paper. It's textured. Um, and it says, My very good wishes to H.W. Fay, Michael Valchel Lindsay, December 25th, 1923. And that's handwritten with a pen. So that is an actual Valchel Lindsay signature. And it's also a Victor George signature. Um, that's just a neat one. Uh, this one, I think this was the last picture. Oh, come on. Why aren't you? Well, do it that way. I believe this was the last picture taken of Vetch L. Lindsay um, before he died. I might be mistaken. It might be one of the other ones in here, but that's a real picture. Uh, let's see what else we have. So, in a grumpy looking picture. Here's another picture of him just looking off into the distance. This is an interesting one. This is in front of Lincoln's tomb, and it's got Lindsay Johnson and Drinkwater all hanging out, but I don't know what kind of connection they actually had or why they were hanging out in front of Lincoln's tomb, but interesting photo nonetheless. Here's another Lindsay portrait. And it's interesting, you just kind of watch him become more and more disheveled until he died. Um, obviously his death was uh, not expected for everyone, but he expected it, I guess. Um, but yeah, he just gets more and more disheveled until he passed away. This is the actual photo of the graduation. We had the cutouts in a couple photos from the newspaper. This is hand signed by Vachel Lindsay as well. Um, this is his hand signed graduating picture, uh, which is, I mean, these things are just priceless. If you're a fan of poets and early American poetry, this stuff should really speak to you. Oh, this was cool too. Vachel Lindsay Memorial Festival, Culver Stockton College, Assembly 11 o'clock, November 16th, 1934. Um, this is signed by, gosh, George Elhard, um, R. Diller. There's, the people that it's signed by are named in the program. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, Mr. George Elhart is there. Um, and then Diller. Uh, Isaac R. Diller. Reception in honor of the Board of Judges for the Vachel Lindsay Memorial Poetry Contest and Mr. Isaac R. Diller. They're early American poets, and they had a big old party for Lindsay. Um, this is just a newspaper article, as is that, and let's see, yeah, I think that's about the end of it. Uh, oh, this is interesting too, it's talking about the giving people signatures. Um, this says, to Ms. Dr. H.W. Fay, this signature was given to me by... Ms. Lindsay, the year of her husband's death, Mrs. Edward, Imea George, Prez, I'm not sure, but that's the signature, that's Fatchel Lindsay's signature. Um, I imagine shortly before his death, uh, he just signed the paper for them to be able to make some money um, if and when he died. Uh, but yeah, really cool collection. It's something that needs to be preserved and put into, you know, if, if, if you're a little bit wealthier and you can afford a collection like this and you can afford to have it just matted and framed and UV glass and non-acid stuff, that would be just 
phenomenal in keeping this stuff from being destroyed. Right now, it's in these binders. They're not even glued together anymore. They're in terrible shape. Um, and everything... Yeah, I'm surprised it survived as well as it has. And it's really interesting, the connection he had to Sycamore and Springfield, Illinois. And our shop, like I said, is in Springfield, Illinois, or in Sycamore, Illinois, I'm sorry. So I was surprised to see this collection walk in. Um, but it's priceless. This is stuff that the Smithsonian doesn't have in the, the Poetry, um, National Poetry Museum and the Vachel Lindsay Museum don't have some of this stuff um, so it's it's a big deal and having the provenance um, of HW Fay being sent stuff and people passing the folder around and I mean all the signatures from Vachel Lindsay and the other early American poets they they formed our literary history and it's just amazing that this collection was just sitting out there waiting for someone to find it. Um, but we found it, and you're welcome to purchase it if you would like to. Um, make an offer. We're always open to offers. Uh, any offer you want to make, feel free, and we will either accept it, and you can pay us, and we'll ship you the collection, or we'll... If we don't accept it, we'll make you a counter offer. We make counter offers on a hundred percent of offers, so all offers are checked, um, and we will get you taken care of, uh, offer-wise. Most of our stuff sells via or best offer, but take a look at the price. Take a look at what's actually in here. There's numerous priceless signatures, priceless photos. Um, nobody else has this this stuff. I mean, they might have a couple photos and some of the newspaper articles, but the original photos, the original envelope, the register for seeing Lincoln's tomb, um, all the signatures of the early American poets, it's just a priceless collection. I really, I can't, I can't speak enough about it. I, I really hope it goes to somebody who's going to appreciate it and keep it for the future. For others to enjoy and for us to learn about poetry but i appreciate you guys watching um good luck i uh, hope to hear from you if you'd like to make an offer feel free and uh, drop us any messages if you have any questions or concerns or um, feel free also to email it to if you have a local museum that might be interested or if you know someone who is wealthy that is into this kind of stuff I just I want to get it to somebody who's gonna be able to preserve it and it's gonna take some time for us to do that but we're hoping to get it done as soon as possible so yeah make us an offer if you like otherwise uh, have a nice day and I appreciate your time